everybody, welcome to the adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. I'm uh, probably about 20 miles out of Woodward, headed toward Missouri. Hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. I got my day started at about 4.30. I left home this morning. Uh, like I say, I'm about 20 miles out of Woodward, heading east toward Missouri. I woke up about 3 o'clock and couldn't sleep anymore, so I finished packing the car, took a shower, and got everything loaded up, got Dakota loaded and settled in, and uh, started heading east, so it's about six and a half hours to get to Missouri there of driving time, so it'll probably take close to seven hours because I'll have to stop one time for gas. That should be on the other side of in between the, uh, Tulsa and Joplin. Uh, and then I should be able to make it the rest of the way on gas. So hopefully everything will go good today. Uh, I'll get you this video uploaded. Uh, before I go down to my brother's place because once I get there I won't have phone service so my videos could be kind of spotty getting uh, uploaded uh, but I'll keep you guys updated as much as I possibly can uh, and we'll uh Hopefully have a lot of fun on this trip. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. I want to thank everybody for all your prayers and, and thoughtful comments on my trip. I definitely appreciate every one of you guys. Uh, I've been anticipating this. Uh, Tristan couldn't come along because he has a doctor's appointment, as you guys have probably seen on his, his uh, channel. He kind of wanted to go, but yeah, he, he just knew he couldn't do it this time. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep him updated and in the loop here. <coughs> but uh, yeah, we've got a couple hours of darkness yet before the sun starts coming out. deer stay in the ditches I'll be happy uh, haven't seen any yet but you really got to watch out for them this time of year uh, muzzle season is going on right now and the deer are just naturally more active this time of year so yeah just got to keep my eyes open for them and look for them little eyeballs in the ditch <laughs> but yeah just wanted to get you guys an update and thank you guys so much again please like share subscribe for me watch my videos that helps out so much uh, smash that notification bell for me I love you guys and we'll keep you updated as I go through the, the day today God bless you we'll talk to you later Everybody just coming into Enid, Oklahoma. Uh, been on the road approximately an hour and hour and a half, I suppose. Uh, Enid's the first bigger city that I've been to. We went. I went through a couple small towns, but yeah. We're uh, making pretty good time. It's been a good drive so far. Uh, won't take too long to get through Enid here. Shouldn't anyway, not this time of the morning. Uh, there is a little bit more traffic out and about. Getting ready to... People heading to work. Uh, but yeah, we're making good time. Just wanted to get you guys a quick update. I'll probably put you on time lapse here. 
the rest of the way through Enid, and we'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, we stopped for gas, had a come and go here. Uh, we're about 40 miles out of Tulsa. I uh, just needed to get some coffee, so I just I decided to top off the car here. I really didn't need to. Gas was 307 a gallon here at the come and go that I stopped at. And I'm gonna go in and get some coffee and then I'm gonna come out and check on Dakota and Make sure he's doing good, and then we'll be back on the road again. Talk to you later. God bless. Hey, everybody. Uh, went in and got some coffee. Uh, Dakota was doing good. He's sleeping back there. Uh, I'll let him out at the next stop. Uh, we've only been on the road an hour and a half or two hours. See, it's uh, seven, about two and a half hours. So he's good yet. He don't need to go to the bathroom. But we're going to get back on the road here. I'll put it on time lapse and uh, let you guys see the sunrise this morning. Uh, so we'll talk to you later. God bless.
you later. Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, it's 9.29 in the morning. Uh, I just crossed over into Missouri. Just went, just a mile back, I went across the state line. Uh, went through Miami, Oklahoma. It's right on the state line there. Uh, about eight miles out of Joplin, Missouri. Uh, probably about 70 from Springfield, Missouri. I got about two hours to go all together. Maybe a little more than that. And I'll be at my brother's place. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, I'll get you a little time lapse of Missouri here coming into Joplin. Uh, so we'll talk to you later. God bless. Selena will 
uh, see if we can get some video for you from Bolivar. Yeah, we're only about an hour and ten minutes away from my brother's place, so yeah, the trip went great so far. Had no no troubles at all. We're two minutes from Highway 13, where, where I'll turn and go north, according to the sign right there. Traffic's not been bad at all. It's picked up here now that I'm getting close to Springfield a little bit, but that's to be expected. Uh, Springfield's 160,000 people. And the only reason I know that is I just went by a sign that said 159,800 and some people. So, uh, yeah, we'll be turning and going north. We'll be off the freeway here shortly. Uh, I-44 has been good so far. I haven't had any issues at all. The traffic's been flowing good. Uh, didn't see any state troopers in Oklahoma. Uh, seen like three of them here in Missouri so far. But... Uh, And they all had people pulled over already, so I didn't even have to worry about that. But I haven't been really speeding that much anyway. Uh, In two miles, take exit 77 from Missouri 13 North toward Bolivar. Uh, I've only been doing like three or four miles an hour over. Uh, I'm not in that big a hurry. I'm making good time. probably three quarters of a tank of gas so far. Uh, I was down to about a quarter when I stopped and filled up the first time and I'm still just a little over a half right now so uh, so I've used probably around three-fourths of a tank of gas. Gas is actually a little cheaper over here. Uh, I've seen Ethanol blend here for $2.89 back there a ways. Yeah, well, that was at Joplin, I guess it was. So, yeah, that's. In half a mile, take exit 77 from Missouri 13 North toward Bolivar. That's the cheapest I've seen so far. Uh, we'll see what it is in Bolivar once. at 77, then keep left at the fork. Okay, I'm getting off on left at the fork. Highway 13 here. Selena, this probably looks uh, a little familiar to you. Missouri 13 North for six miles. I actually got through that pretty good. Usually that's a bottleneck right there. We'll see what gas prices here are at come and go. Uh, 305 for unleaded. I'm on 13 North. Next stop will be Bolivar. So I'll put you on time lapse here a little bit between here and Bolivar, and then I'll get some more video for you guys when I get to Bolivar. Talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, I'm just coming into Bolivar. Uh, just getting ready to turn off on the exit going into Bolivar 
Selena, I don't know if you recognize this. I'm out here on 13. Uh, I just went by the old Smith's Cafe, if you remember where that's at. Uh, but yeah, I'm just coming to the exit here. Coming into Bolivar uh, off 13. In half a mile, use the right lane to take the Missouri 83 ramp to Missouri 13, bus Bolivar. Bolivar, the, <laughs> the GPS calls it Bolivar. But, uh, yeah, I've had a good trip. I really can't complain. Use it's, the right lane to take the Missouri 83 ramp, then turn right onto Missouri 83 North. It's been a, it's been a real good trip made really good time uh, turn right onto Missouri 83 North South Springfield Avenue it actually went by fairly fast uh, Dakota's been doing real good he's back there sleeping yet at least I don't see him anywhere I hear on Missouri 83 North for three miles. I hear him back there. But yeah, I'm just coming into Bolivar here. Uh, I don't know how long ago he was here, Selena, if it's changed much since you've been here. Uh, it really hasn't changed much since I left here. Uh, a few things have changed. They've gotten a few new things. And, but pretty much it's still a, the same as it was 10 years ago when I left here. Uh, c and C still here, farm and home. Uh, Kubota dealer here off on the left, still here. Ford dealer still here. I might have changed names, but I don't remember. Uh, but pretty much, it's still the still the same Bolivar that I remember. Uh, Come and goes here to the left. Gas is 315 here in Bolivar. Walmart's here to my left. Dollar Tree's here to the right. <laughs> Dollar General's to the left. Arby's and Pizza Hut still here. Burger King. Yeah, people still don't know how to drive here either. Taco Bell still here. The pawn shop still over there. Movie theaters are back that way. Walgreens is to my right. They're still there. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same as it was when I left here 10 years ago. Uh, Southwest Baptist University is right up here to my left. This is a very big Baptist town, Southwest, uh, Southern Baptist. This is pretty much Bolivar. Uh, yeah, here's 
Southwest Baptist University off to my left here. Dairy Queen is still here. Woods Supermarket. I used to buy a lot of groceries there at Woods. Normally I would take a right here on this road, but I'm going to go down through the downtown and Get some more video of Bolivar here. Because that just kind of cuts off a lot of the downtown area here. And I got plenty of time yet. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Broadway Street. This is the courthouse, I believe, up here on my left with a, with a clock tower on it. Pretty neat old courthouse. Turn right onto East Broadway Street. Continue on East Broadway Street for three quarters of a mile. Okay, I'm going to stop in here at Casey's and get something to drink. Check on Dakota. See how he's doing. Take the next left onto East Jackson Street, then turn right onto East Broadway Street. Alrighty, we're here at Casey's. We'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, just bringing you along for a little bit of the ride here. Uh, I left Bolivar on my way to my brother's gun shop. Uh, this is just... Uh, Kind of back way. A little shortcut other than going through over the 65 highway. It's kind of pretty out through here. The trees are starting to, to turn colors. Some of them have already lost their leaves actually. really pretty out through here. I always enjoyed this this uh, area in between the lake and Bolivar here. Yeah, I'll try to get this video uploaded yet here real soon before I go to my brother's house. Uh, because once I get to his house, I'll lose all service. Uh, and then I don't know how often I'll get a video uploaded. But I'll, I'll do my best to, to get one as often as possible. Uh, it's just cell service through here once in a while is pretty scattered. Especially with T-Mobile. Verizon and AT&T are a little better. But they're even spotty at best. Uh, I don't know why their internet in 
cell service, especially in Hickory County, is, is horrible. Uh, all the money that was supposed to be given for internet access, I don't know where that all ended up going, but yeah, the internet is still horrible. My brother can't even hardly get it out at his place. Uh, he can get a little bit of it with the hot spot, with his AT&T. But, uh, yeah, other than that, and there's no, no internet service out here whatsoever. I, I don't know how that Starlink works. Uh, I don't know if anybody's tried that out here or not. Just, yeah, it's just not very good service. And I understand Hickory County is not that big of a county. It's pretty small. So I guess the internet companies don't want to uh, invest in it. But yeah, there was supposed to have been a lot of uh, money from the COVID relief thing for internet, so uh, yeah, I don't know where that money ended up going, but it didn't go into internet, I know that, uh, but yeah, we're, we're probably 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away from my brother's gun shop, so I just wanted to bring you along in a little bit of this here before I get there, and then I'll show you more. the gun shop when I get there and then we'll get this video uploaded before I go to his house I'll try and get it all uploaded uh, this is the town of Polk Missouri is just a spot in the road anyway, I'm going to sign off here for right now, and God bless you guys, I love you, and we'll talk to you when I get to the gun shop, God bless. Hey everybody, we're coming into Pittsburgh, Missouri here, uh, we're just a couple miles from my brother's gun shop now. I spent a lot of time here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> the restaurant that I used to cook at, the very first restaurant I cooked at is just up here around the curve, I'll show you. Gas here at Bullseye is $2.99. Tristan, it's $2.99. <laughs> That's an inside joke with Tristan and I, if anybody is wondering. Uh, post office is here to the right. This is brand new, the Dollar General. Uh, yeah, that was never there before. But here in Missouri, well, it's pretty much everywhere. There's a Dollar General on almost every corner. Uh, it's pretty crazy that they're putting up so many Dollar Generals. Uh, in, in the economy the way it is, I mean Dollar Generals go up overnight. So there's, here in Hickory County alone, there's one, two, three, four of them within five miles of each other here that I know of. There might even be more now, I, I don't know, because uh, that one's just a new one. And this is White's Marine here to the left. He sells boats all over the country. He's a, he's really competitive in his prices. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, I know he sells boats 
down into Texas and Louisiana. But this building right here, straight ahead of me, off to the left, used to be the, a restaurant and a bait and tackle store. The bait and tackle was up above and the restaurant was up below. Uh, that was the very first restaurant I cooked in. And now it's just a private residence. Uh, somebody tried making another bait and tackle out of it, but it didn't didn't go over. I didn't know what the whole story was. That was after I left. But yeah, it's I think it's just a private residence now. It used to be an old church years ago. And now we're gonna come up to the Nemo Bridge. We'll, we'll cross the lake here shortly. This is a trailer court here, Nemo Park and, and Resort. But for, this, is, this is the Nemo Bridge, it's called. Uh, State Park is off to the right. And the lake is right underneath us right now. We're going right over the top of the lake. It's really low. Uh, my house used to be over here to the left way over there a ways, but uh, trees are really turning colors here. But this is the Nemo State Park right here to the right. Nemo Marina is over here to the left. It's really pretty through here. Uh, now, especially when the trees are turning. My older brother's house used to be up to, to the right here. That's called Slippery Slide Road. Uh, his house used to be back there about four miles. But he sold that now. And he lives up on J8 and then he winters down in Arizona. In fact, he's down in Arizona now, him and his wife, my sister-in-law. They've been down there for about a month or so already, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we're coming up here to Nemo Corner. This is the rock quarry to our right here. The Nemo Quarry. another Dollar Gentral here to our left. This one was here. It opened up either right when I was moving or right shortly after I, I moved out of here. Uh, the alley's off to our right. The sign on the top says Pizza Bowling because they sell pizza there too. But I always used to get a kick out of that. I never knew what pizza bowling was. But yeah, we're coming up here within a stone throw of my brother's gun shop. right here to the left or to the right rather and we're going to let the coat out for a little bit Give him some water and food. And... But yeah, we're here at my brother's gun shop. I'll get some video for you inside there as soon as I let the coat out. Hey everybody, we're just leaving Wesson gun shop here. Uh, he's closing early. I'm going to stop somewhere and get this video uploaded quick. So... Like I always say, treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Make this world. 
keep moving toward them goals one step at a time. Uh, do something nice for somebody. We're going to have some fun camping out for these four days. Do a lot of cooking outdoors and we'll get you videos uploaded as often as I can. So God bless you guys. I love you. We'll talk to you later.